Hey guys, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis on server 68. So today we have a big video for you. I don't want to say exciting because some people may not be excited about this, but it looks like K40 is imminent. Looks like it's coming. These images have been circulating around Ebony all day. I'm getting updates nonstop. In fact, as I'm doing the video, I'm getting new pictures. Uh, I'll put those in a future video if any new ones come in, really discuss this. But basically, this email has been going around. We did not receive this on our Evany accounts. This is on the beta server. So as you can see, October 20th, 2021, right here, right? That's today. So some people are thinking this is coming tomorrow at the reset and others think this is the date on the beta servers that they're getting it and they're still going to do a little bit of trial and testing with it and there may be some changes. Uh, I personally think this is coming before Christmas, probably right when qualifying for All Stars is going on because Ivany loves to target those big coiners who would want to gain that little bit of an advantage over their other All-Star counterparts. So that's my guess, that this is coming before Christmas. Also, it makes sense that Ebony thinks people make a Christmas presents with Google Play money or App Store money, that sort of stuff. But, you know, don't freak out. Lots of people are saying they're going to quit. But you know what? All you got to do is continue to work hard, play the game, and you'll get the same stuff for free. It'll just take you longer than the other people who pay money because they want to get it quick, right? Ebony knows this is a high OCD game, uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. People want things now, and that's what they prey on, right? So you don't have to spend, but you will have to work hard and play smart. So let's look at these images. So here is a picture of k36 so a little bit more expensive than going to 35 about a million more on each a million and a half more on each i think i think food was three million for the keep and everything else was about 4.5 so somewhere between one and 1 1.5 uh billion more resources and there's so many images here these cannot be uh copyright or uh photoshopped this is the power levels of the keep this is the new victory column. So apparently you're going to be able to do something like uh, have parades in your city. They have this in other games and then it will give you some sort of buffs. Here is a bunker. So you'll be able to hide troops. So if your bubble drops, certain amount of troops won't die. I don't know the specifics behind this. Uh, if they're locked in there for a certain amount of time, if you put them in there. Otherwise, you might as well just put your best troops there all the time, right? Uh, hide them or sorry back to the bunker another thought I had maybe you're gonna go loot an alt hide your horses in the bunker something like that right there's so many purposes for this depending how it's rolled out let's see what happens here is different things that could happen with your dragons now I'm just gonna guess uh, if this could be uh, decoration on your keep or Maybe in other games I play, your special beast, your special dragons, you can put different abilities on them in battle. So you can put uh, the ability for the dragon to enhance offensive attack, or the dragon will be a tank and absorb punishment first before your troops and act in defense. So there's different things you can do. So there's different ways this could go, your dragon skill. Let's see what happens. Here is the new dragon lair. There's a sleeping dragon. Looks like a dead one in uh, BOG when you kill the phoenix. So that's the same announcement. And here is the second part to that announcement. It says adding troop 15 to the game. I guess you get 15 at level 40. That doesn't make sense. It should be at 37. So not sure what's happening here. Oh, it talks about Hun's Invasion at the bottom, though. The event has been optimized. The next Hun's Invasion event will be opened at a specific time. But that doesn't really tell us a time. But that's good to know that Hun's is coming back because Hun's Invasion was awesome. Here is what I assume is a picture in the uh, arsenal, which is, in most people's opinion, a useless building. And 
it's bringing the troops up to 15 and you can see how expensive that is compared to what it is normally. Here is the victory column where I thought parades or something like that might take place. And you can see it will boost various things. Construction speed, research speed, general's attributes. This tells us what the victory column is. It's known as Trajan's column. So maybe Trajan will have a thing, something to do there. Maybe you could put him there as a duty general. Who knows? Continuous helic relief wins. The relief portrays the scenes of marching troops, building fortification, the beginning, developing climax, and ending of the war where the were of the column. So sounds like you will have something going around your city. So maybe you'll earn this in special ways, like top five in uh, SVS or something. So maybe they could backtrack that. I got a few of those, but uh, so, uh, that'd be good goal for some people to get. Not everybody can get top top one, but uh, maybe if they had it top ten or something like that. If only you could. Uh, go in the Arch of Triumph and see the results for that in the past. But unfortunately, you cannot see things like that. You can only see top three. So here is another image of the Dragon Cliff. This time, someone's actually pressing on the thing. And you can see it's the Sacred Dragon. So this is just kind of graphics that we're going to see in the game and a closer look. And here you can see the Army Camp 35 right there. And I guess it's kind of showing you maybe we're going to get more resource fields. I guess that's what this image is showing us. So maybe you could build more there. I'm not sure. And again, the bunker. And you can see this time the protecting capacity. So here you could save 5,000 troops. And not sure. doesn't show what level it is. If you if this is something you can upgrade and protect more than that, I would hope that this is level one. And obviously with the green circle beside the 5,000, the plus zero, that means there's going to be some science involved. So maybe it'll, it'll end up getting about the level of the hospital. So like I said, maybe you could uh, hide your horses in there so they're not uh, subject to being attacked by the archers. And here is the new rally spot levels. You can see all the way up to 35, all the way up to 40 here, you gain 200,000 more troops in your march. And not only that, uh, at the 350,000, I have that. And then with all my science that goes with it, I end up with about 1.5 million. So if you get 550,000, you'd have to assume that you're going to end up with about. 2.2 million unbuffed of a march. And yeah, that was another line image coming in. It might even be more. Okay, and this is some stuff on a new boss, Jormungandr. He's 394 million power. And you can see this new scroll here. So that's probably going to be all that new gear, the civilization sets that are coming. But those seem uh, crazy how they wanted 30 scrolls per item. Imagine... Uh, having to get 30 ring scrolls because we know how slow those come in on other stuff. But this is a massive boss, so it's probably going to take an entire or at least three, four people in the alliance to rally. Like I think uh, one of the strongest bosses I ever face is obviously the Phoenix, but the Viking, the Viking chief, the Ice Berserker, I'm not sure what his name is at the top level, but he's not 394 million power, and we still get losses on him with a lot of T14s going at him. And here you see the first down results that you would get, 6 million per. And there you see someone sent 1.65 million troops. And they got 17,000, 18,000 wounded. And who knows how many people sent with them. And that looks like a Max Martinez. And then here is something really exciting. New Monarch talent levels. So just looking at this, I would think that I would do in city attack and then i guess it you would kind of go subsidy defense for pvp and then monster hunting regular time because these bosses look strong and you're probably going to need it but we'll have to know more about this when it gets released and then triumphal art so this is something different and you can see the buffs at the bottom rally capacity and rally capacity in battlefield is even higher and reinforcement capacities so these are things that if, if it gets released before All-Stars, this is things people are really going to want to have at All-Star time. Because one of the things that happens in All-Stars is people 
uh, miss rallies because everybody's a good player and everybody's trying to get into the rallies. But if you have the biggest rally hall, you get to set the rallies and then you're guaranteed to be in the rally. And reinforcement obviously helps defend yourself. And this is the next level of that uh, arch. And the next one, so you can see they get even higher. We're up to 9% and 30% and 12 and 40 and it gets up to 50%. So these are massive bonuses to anyone who has it. And right here, so these images are of old bosses we used to have, the snowman, the pumpkin, and the neon. And what I can only assume is happening here is because of the massive update coming to the game, they're just gonna flood us with tons of bosses so that we have a chance to get the speeds and resources. That's what I think is going to happen. I don't know. I don't know why these would be shared other than that. And here you can see this is some images also of the Triumphal Arch and how much it's going to cost to upgrade. So this is a massive upgrade. And look at those days, 820 days. So you're going to need lots of speeds. This is going to be something that even the biggest uh, coiners, the people who've been playing the longest and... Uh, have saved up so many resources, even them. It's just it's going to take people a long time to complete this upgrade. And you can see in red here, win battlefield one time. So there are requirements to be able to complete these buildings. So I like that. I like that it's not just resource based. Here is a new boss. This is a 17 boss, the Typhon. And here are new levels of bosses. So pumpkins are going to go up to level 7. Neons, we're already at 4. And witches are going to go to 5. And they're going to drop these scrolls as well, which is awesome. And then... And here is an image of how expensive it's going to be to actually make K40. So you can see 50, 60 billion of each resource. So just that alone, not even looking at the prerequisites. I have seen the images or the people have added it up and it's going to be about 135 billion to get to keep 40, including the prerequisites. <clears throat> but... That does not include all the other buildings you have to make. So just getting to K40, you're still, you don't get anything. You have to make the troops, right? You have to get the shrine up. You have to get the barracks up. You have to get the archer camp up. And that's going to be probably another 100 billion. So this is a massive, massive update by Ebony. And now here are images of the newest troops. So steel catapults, and you can see how strong they are. This is all kind of relative, right? Because we don't know what sort of science and monarch gear the person has who's showing this from the beta server. Like at the top of my head, these don't seem too much higher because the troop load 144, I believe that's very similar to what T14 sieges are. So I'm guessing on the beta server, they don't have the full tech that we have, but this is what they look like. And you can compare that. But looking at the T15... Sieges, I think that is more range than the regular sieges. So that's going to be something people really want. And here is the glory achievement. So amount of generals in the general rankings. Okay, so you're going to want six generals in the general rankings. And I wonder if that's going to be all at the same time. Amount of civilization equipment owned. So you need some. Times of triggering glory of warrior effect or lucky favor effect. So I like this, that there's actual achievements you have to do. And the military academy allows researching of military formations and tactics in your city. So this is going to be a new type of research. And I have another image of inside of that. Here is a video about the science that is in the military academy. So I'm going to let this play. So here is a video about the science inside the military academy. So take a look at this. So a new research area.
kind of troop you have uh, research ground mountain range siege and then you have It's a lot of research. Um, let me try to do one here. 20 days. Oops. Um, ah, so that's what you need the scrolls for. This scrolls here. Okay, so there was the image of the science that actually takes place in that building i did find it i knew i had it somewhere so it was a video that was saved so so yeah so i'm gonna stop there this is so much information that's coming out i'm actually excited because i play a lot i work really hard i think that gives me a bit of an advantage but you know what i'm not the only player like that and then there's coiners who have a bigger advantage over me and then there's other people who just work hard and tons of alts and you know people who enjoy the game and they're going to be in the same situation as me every server has them and i like it i like the i like the uh, new goals new achievements you have to do and new reasons to work hard and play the game it was getting a little stale just doing the same thing over and over but i kind of wanted to grow a little bit i wanted to get to about four billion and then stop and save resources so i'm sort of in a position now where i'm gonna kind of wait and see what's happening you know hopefully the update doesn't come out till after christmas because my goal was to keep building till christmas and then save because i thought this would maybe come out in the spring but if they put it out uh, just before Christmas, I think I'm just gonna go back to what I did when I went, jumped from 25 to 35. Gonna make very few troops, save resources, focus on buildings, and uh, then get back to the troops. But I think you're gonna see a lot of chaos on servers too, because people are now gonna be resource hungry. I think you're gonna start to see a lot more, uh, you know, People are going to be active, fighting for those bosses, maybe even uh, really on top of those bubble drops. I think people are going to have to be a lot more careful of uh, how they play the game now. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have uh, other information, let me know. Add me in game. Send it to me. You can send it to my email, my Discord, all sorts of stuff. Happy to share it. And uh, just really excited about this. Hope you guys are too. So this is Genghis, server 68. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.